ఇది సెషన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు ఇన్స్టాల్ విండోస్ సర్వర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ యాక్టివ్ డైరెక్టరీ డొమైన్ సర్వీసెస్ ఓకే సో టు ఇన్స్టాల్ విండోస్ యాక్టివ్ డైరెక్టరీ డొమైన్ సర్వీసెస్ లెట్స్ లాగ్ ఇన్ టు అవర్ ల్యాబ్ సిస్టమ్ ఫస్ట్ సి వెన్ ఐ కనెక్ట్ టు ద అవర్ ఇయర్స్ ఎక్స్ ఐ హోస్ట్ వీ ఆల్రెడీ క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్ యాక్టివ్ డైరెక్టరీ జీరో వన్ ఏడి జీరో వన్ విఎం ఇఫ్ యూ ఓపెన్ దిస్ విఎం ఇన్ యూ కన్సోల్ జస్ట్ ఓపెన్ ద సబ్ ఆ మేనేజర్ and within the server manager we can see left side there is a dashboard and local server and we can see usually from the dashboard we can see configure this local server add roles and features so you can click this option or under the manage also you can see add roles and features any option you can use let's say when you click on add roles and features we can see before you begin before you continue that we must log in with administrator account and the static ip should be configured we already assigned static ip and we log in with the administrator account and all the patches should be up to date so we already meet these three conditions click on next and role based or feature based installation we need to choose this option and remote desktop service installation we can choose second option so when we plan to configure active directory domain services the relevant option is role based or feature based installation so now click on next so server selection our server name is ad01 and it is selected correctly click on next and these are all the windows server roles so when you see the windows server roles there are multiple roles are available active directory domain active directory certificate services active directory domain services so today's our topic is active directory domain services generally active domain services mainly talk about information objects on the network and makes this information available to users and network administration and adds uses domain controller to give network users access to the permitted resources anywhere on the network through a single logon services so let's enable the active directory domain services so click on next and the features i am not going to configure now so we just enable only the role and we haven't selected any features at this point in time so click on next and active domain services click on next see normally if it is required restart it will restart automatically so click on install so this is how we can install the active directory domain services so just select add remove add roles and features tab and choose the spe specific role so we selected the role as active directory domain services so installation is in progress once the installation is completed if you see in the right side in the menu there is a warning notification is there so once you click just click on close because configuration is required installation succeeded but we have to do the configuration so to do the configuration just click on this yellow color icon and promote this server to domain controller so just click on promote this server to domain controller and you can add your domain control to an existing domain but in our lab this is the first system so the first domain controller is like a it's adding a new forest so let's say our new forest domain name is gcglab.com okay so gcglab.com is our domain name gcg means gnan cloud garage lab.com okay so now click on next and default forest function level domain function level is windows 16 you can leave it as default because in our lab we don't have the old versions so let's leave it default and assign the password okay once we assign the password click on next and dns we can configure it later so just click on next and net bias name we have to provide the net bias name or else it will detect automatically see it's detected as gcg lab so click on next
okay default active directory database located in c drive windows ntds folder and logs also located in the same location and sys value folder will be under c drive windows okay so now click on next and this is a complete summary of the information so click on next so prerequisites check is in progress once it is completed we can promote our system to domain controller so click on install so it may take a while to promote this system to domain controller So still the, it is running. It may take few more minutes. Okay, if you see the progress progress here, she is setting the security, securing all this. You are configuring DNS server, server service on this computer. Okay, see the server is automatically su completed successfully. When we click on close, it will reboot automatically. So just close and refresh. System will restart automatically. Okay. So once it is back to online, our system is previously it was in the work group. Now it is promoted as a Active Directory Domain Services. And that means our domain controller name is gcglab.com. So we can log in with only the GCG Lab domain accounts only. So rebooting is in progress. Once we join to the configure the Active Directory, in the for the first time reboot it may take a while even if you refresh here we can see the status Okay, applying computer settings. So it's taking a while. Okay, if you see the host name here, ad01. Dot gcglab.com this is a fully qualified domain name okay now finally it's back to online so go to the guest voice send keys control all delete 
so we can log in. Okay, we can log into the system. So just select the local server. You can see the computer name is AD01 and our domain name is now gcglab.com. Okay, and to verify another method is just start run and type dsa.msc. So directory service console dot Microsoft console dsa.msc. Sorry, typo. See, you can able to open the Active Directory users and computers. Even users and all we can see here. OK, Active Directory is configured and. OK, and to verify from the command line, just open new shortcut. CMD.exe. And open the command and type the command net space accounts. It will show our computer role is primary. So that means it's a primary domain controller. Suppose if you want to configure additional domain controller, it will show us as a secondary. OK, so that's it. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.